Patrick Soderlin is highly credited as one of the people that moved DICE's engine, which is the Frostbite engine, to most games that are up under EA today. And he was also at the forefront of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 debacle and the closing of Visceral Games. Now this is coming about a month after Amy Henning has left EA and she was working on a new Star Wars game with Visceral Games that eventually got cancelled. And Patrick Soderlin said the game was way too linear and it was a linear adventure game and they needed to pivot the design. Now that very Star Wars game has been moved to EA Vancouver and is now delayed until further notice. Soderlin also before his departure from Electronic Arts they offered him 20 million dollars to stay and he still opted to leave the company. Now hopefully good comes from this situation. I don't think too much good is going to come from it. Um, hopefully it does. Uh, I feel like the game that the Star Wars game that Amy Henning was working on was the right Star Wars game. We wanted a very um, very story driven Star Wars game and I feel like Soderling calling it a linear adventure game was very I think it put it in some negative context um, and I, I just don't feel right about that but I think she was working on the right game. I mean we're talking about a woman that worked on the Uncharted in the Jack and Dexter series so I think that was I think that game was probably going to come out right but hopefully EA kind of uh, gets it together with the Star Wars license and and something good comes out of this uh, I've been Curtis Russell with the Soul Dojo make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the Soul Dojo gaming channel for your gameplays news and first impressions of all the hottest games releasing all right peace